Man, Hongmo and Maggie sail on a boat in unknown waters. The two plan to pull radishes under the bright daylight, but Maggie stops halfway, dragging the radish. Because a small boat appears not far away, and the man looks nervous. At Maggie's request, Hongmo uses a hook, fishing up this man like fishing. Maggie guesses he must have drifted at sea for several days, and takes the opportunity to rub his tough bronze muscles. Since the man has been rescued, Hongmo suggests continuing the shooting range, but Maggie has lost interest. Bang, I'm going for a work. Hum. The man eats and drinks his fill, says his name is Roger. He's the chef of the albatross. Working under a merchant? This time he's going to kill his partner in Tahiti. One night, Roger's innocent pie is cooling on the windowsill, but the merchant tries to inject poison into it. Roger chooses to stop his boss. Unfortunately, the merchant grabs a bottle of thin soy sauce and knocks Roger unconscious. Maggie sympathizes with his ordeal. Hongmo says he's also having a hard time. Even the lenses of his sunglasses are down to one. Huh? Oh, Roger. You really know what you're doing. No luck. Anyway, when Roger wakes up, everyone on the ship is dead. Even the seagulls that came are not spared. Roger leaves the albatross in a small boat. Later, he encounters his savior, Maggie. This experience is really terrifying. Hongmo wants to have a private chat with Maggie. He thinks Roger killed everyone on the ship. Especially since he prepared a peach pie. Hongmo throws the pie into the sea, directly causing Maggie's dissatisfaction. The two argue in the toilet. Until Maggie looks out the window inadvertently. There's a shark floating belly up. It seems the pie is really poisonous. He must kill Roger before he acts. Maggie sits on the deck in a bikini, asks Roger to bring some screen. Roger is captivated by such a scene. Maggie thinks Roger is already dead. Hong Mo directly disposes of the body, using a water gun to wash him into the sea. Not long after, they unexpectedly find the albatross. They board to investigate with great determination. The scene in front of them is so frightening, just like Roger described before. Even the details of the soy sauce bottle match. Maggie blames herself for killing the innocent. Starts punching Hongmo's chest with small fists. Who knows Roger suddenly appears. He is not dead. He's angry that the couple killed ruthlessly. Although Hongmo says the pie killed the shark. The real reason is that the couple's boat leaked oil. Far more than just the shark died. Hongmo takes a fish gun shoots Roger without hesitation. His reason is simple. If he doesn't kill him, then he will tell others that he wants to kill him. The bearded guy is surprised by what's happening. It turns out he already knew the ship owner wanted to harm people. So he made everyone take an antidote in advance. It seems you have a talent for escaping death. Come on. Just a second. Go. Go, go. Bankers away. Hong Mao has gone crazy. The cabin is full of victims. In order to destroy the evidence, they even spare no pelicans. No outsider will know about this. But Maggie eats the poisonous pie, because he can't live with the guilt. She just wanted to ride bikes through New England. But those seats hurt my ass. Have you ever wondered what Maggie is thinking? It should be little candies and little flowers.